Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So today I want to continue working in our accordion spine little junk journal here. And it's just all scrap papers throughout. And I show you guys how to make this. It's super easy and fun. And it's a no-sew method. So I will put that on the end screen for you guys. So you can come check it out. And I will put a playlist all together uh, and have it so it's all playlist and stuff. So, all right, let's see. So today I kind of wanted to do like a process video with you guys, you know, just do it in kind of a fast motion. And I'm gonna talk about some of it now. And then I will stop at the end and talk about some of it too. But I also want to incorporate this cute little bag, end of the bag here. One of these like little lunch bags. And it's the end part. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. And that would be fun. And I'll come in and talk about that. But for now, what I'm going to do is I want to open it up. And I want to cover this spread right here. So I think we're just going to do the whole thing. And get it all covered and looking nice. <clears throat> do some decoration. So uh, this is pretty much, as you can see, this is my uh, just fall theme. And I'm doing little pumpkins and fall leaves and stuff like that throughout. So I thought this would be cute. Okay. And what I start off with is just my scrap, like in cuts of my signatures and stuff. Or just little bits of scraps that I have. So it doesn't matter. Just grab any kind of scraps you have. And I'm going to take my water and glue mixture, which is just 50-50 Elmer's school glue and just water and my paintbrush and I'm just gonna paint all these down or glue all these down and get the base on it and then add a little bit of some gesso on the top. Just do some of that. And then I wanna play around with maybe putting down some coffee dyed napkins here or these are paper towels. Uh, some fun grungy papers here, maybe add some of that, not sure. And then I have all my fun just coffee and tea dyed fabrics. I mean, who knows? I just want to kind of just incorporate some stuff in here. I need to start using up my scraps. So this is a great little scrap buster here. So I'm going to start doing that and get these glued down and we'll go from there.
Okay, so I've gotten this far, and what I did is I put the gesso, did some uh, decoupage napkins down, or paper towels, added some coffee spray, some black writ dye, some orange, sunshine, shun, sunshine orange <laughs> writ dye. Uh, I think this is wine and black mixed together writ dye, so I just could did some... Uh, drops and splats and sprays and made it all grungy and fun. Then I did some stenciling uh, with some sunflowers and stuff and then some pumpkins and some fall leaves. Um, and what are the colors? I did black soot oxide, vintage photo, and crackling campfire. Those are the colors I used throughout. I think that's pretty much it. And then I showed you guys the bag here. And I'm going to show you guys how to make this. I'll talk you through it. Uh, so I got this side that I went ahead and decorated with the stenciling. Did the inside here. Put a little tab on it. And I did the inside here. And the cool thing about this is, is once we get it down, it goes like this and opens up. How fun is that? And I'm going to show you guys how to bind it in to the spine. Pretty cool, right? So I'll show you guys how to do this. It's super simple, but let's try this. So I got some wax thread here. And what you do is just make sure it's shut like you want it. Put a good crease in the middle so you can find the middle. And then I went through and made sure to glue down just the flaps, stuff that's open, because it's a paper bag, you know, how it has all that stuff. So I go through and just glue down the flyaways. Okay, and then make a good crease, open your bag, put it where you want it, which is gonna be the center. So I just wanna make sure, so let's just line it up. Let's just get it in the center, like that. Okay. I'm just gonna do a three hole pamphlet stitch. I just wanna get it through this middle of the spine. I'm going through all of our little spines here that we made, like that. There, I just wanna make sure it was in the crease. Pop it through, leave a tail. Then just make sure you're going back through the bag up at the top here. I know it's hard to show you guys. As you can, just like that. I mean, I'm just getting it in there just to secure it all. It's kind of working blindly, but it should work out in the end here. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect in there, but just as long as you get it through and just get it secured in there is the goal. That is the goal. Okay, and then I'm popping back through the middle here. There we go. All right. It's not perfect and it's not perfectly straight, but you know what? I got it in there. So I wanna just test it. So let's see. I mean, as long as it's secure and it's in there, I think we should be okay. And then the cool part is you just grab it like that and you can put your stuff in it. So yeah, I think that works out. So just go ahead, do a little tightening, tie it down a couple times. You can make a knot, a bow, whatever you want. Just get it in there. Okay, so let's go like that. And then I'm just gonna snip it. How cool is that? Because you have to have it on the inside so you can go like this. And then you put your goodies in here. So fun. How fun is that? Okay, so let me let me show you guys how to make this real quick. Super easy. Okay, so it's pretty much you get a bag here. Let's get like a lunch bag. You know, 
you could do this in a bigger form too. I mean, if you want to with a bigger bag, but I just have a little bag here and you just take it. I mean, really, honestly, you just take it and just cut on the line here. And just make sure you're not cutting the bottom of the bag open. Just like that. And it goes just like this. I mean, it's that easy. And then you just put a little tab right here. And then once you have pressure down there, you just pop it open. And there you go. It's that easy. So you just do some decorating around it and some fun things. And you got yourself a little pocket little bag that opens. And then I just did the signature in here in the middle. I mean, you guys could take your time and do it, you know, more straight or however you want to do it. But I, I like the look of just, you know, the little rugged fun look here. So we got it just like that. And then you pull your little tab. So I just glued the tab on the inside here and then popped it open. And then we could put our fun little goodies in here. Let's see what we got. So you put a little envelope in. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Be careful because you got to shut it. So let's see. So it just have to be little small things that you don't want to get uh, creased up. Let's see. I know I have something here. Have a little journaling spot and just put it on this one side over here. Because if you think about it, you're going to shut it like this. And then it's folded, it's gonna fold over. So whatever you put in here, just make sure you have it on either side. Or or you can have a fold in the middle with it. You know, if you have a big enough piece of paper and you want it to fold in the middle, we I mean, could totally do that. And just have it just so it folds with it. And then you could take it out and have a little fun things to play with. So yeah, you could put all kinds of stuff in this little bag. So there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, little process video that I did for you guys and let me know in the comments if you guys made one or tag me in uh anything that you may, you post and stuff I would love to see it uh so yeah so I hope you found this inspirational and if you could please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and you guys to see my next video when I post it like comment and share and let's grow together and keep on crafting <laughs>